Hello, beautiful souls. I'm hearing that if you are sacrificing your peace for a particular person, option, connection in your life, you are actually doing no good for either of you in this situation. And there are many others like you who are on a similar path, a similar mission. Again, you aren't alone in this. I don't know who needed to hear that message, but I really hope it reached you. More is available for them, but then they are going to have to be the ones to do the inner work, to take that leap of faith, and I do sense right away with this page of swords reversed energy. There is a masculine here coming through so strongly, and specifically for a divine feminine, that I have to mention it right here towards the end of the reading. But what I'm really getting is that there is a masculine here who is connected with an empress reversed energy. So, a karmic feminine, most likely. This person may be in a karmic relationship, but this could also be a platonic feminine figure in their life. But there is an empress reversed energy around them, one who I feel that they would describe this person as overbearing. But it's because this person, this empress reversed, is deeply insecure within themselves, and because they are refusing to grow beyond those insecurities, refusing to evolve, they are actually attempting to hold this masculine with them in these karmic patterns. Then, this is creating a lot of disharmony in this connection. It's also leading to a lack of growth. To this masculine feels like this connection or that they themselves have really stagnated as they've been connecting with this person. Because in a sense, their own refusal to grow is holding them both back from growing and evolving and expanding. And I feel like the masculine here was almost like resigned to this connection. Perhaps they thought that nothing better was available or they may have logically told themselves that all relationships would feel this way or that all feminines that entered their life would be this way. I'm getting this karmic feminine energy as well. And yes, it can be challenging to trust that feeling of intuition, especially when your intuition is saying, hold off because nothing feels fully aligned for us in this moment. Because often there are heavy social, societal, and community pressures to settle into particular relationships, connection situations, simply for the sake of certainty. And I'm seeing that one major thing you have had to sacrifice along your spiritual path in order to grow and evolve as quickly as you have been and are growing and evolving is that sense of certainty. And I wanted to call it continuity. It's almost like a lot of things in your life feel like they don't have continuity, like they don't quite fit together or quite make sense because you're following this in the moment intuitive guidance which is leading you in different directions and not necessarily setting or tracking a course for a concrete, predictable path. However, that is also exactly how you are so spiritually powerful and empowered. They from divine muscular. Type yes if you believe.